Hi guys, this is Carol. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the new, as seen on TV, five second fix. Fix, fill, and seal in seconds. Um, it bonds plastic, wood, metal, glass, fabric, and more, so it says. It's as easy as one apply, two cure, and three, it's fix fast. Well, well, we'll soon find out, won't we? It creates a durable permanent bond, stops leaks and fills cracks. It's flexible, sandable, and even paintable when it's all done. Okay, so let's give this a shot and see if it actually does live up to its name. Okay? Um, so we have a pair of broken glasses that we're going to try to seal. Uh, just want you to know that this is not a glue. This is a welder's um, liquid plastic tool and it's cured by uh, UV light, ultraviolet light that, that activates the seal. Okay, let's, let's try it. Okay, so we have a broken frame to the glasses. So we're gonna get our pen. Here is your UV light. This is your applicator tip. You take this off and your liquid bond is in here. And um, there's a little switch over here when you want to switch on your UV light. And it says five seconds, so we're gonna do it for five seconds. Okay, so let's take off our tip. Okay. It has a very precision point on the end, so it comes out and goes exactly where you kind of want it. It's not all sloppy and messy. So let's just give this a shot. So we're gonna put a little bit of our bonding agent on the tip here of the pen. Okay, we're gonna cover up the tip. We don't want this stuff all over. Okay, we're going to put the lens together. We're going to switch on our UV light, and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's it. We're going to shut it off. Uh, just a little reminder, you don't actually want to look into this light because I think it'll blind you. Okay. Uh, so now as this is sitting here, I'm going to guess it's, it should be done according to what they're saying. It is staying. Um, wow. It is bonded. It is quite bonded, as you can see. I mean, I could have done it just a little bit neater, but just to show that it actually does bond and is flexible. I, I might have moved it a little bit too fast, but that's okay. Okay, now we're going to try a child's toy. Little jet airplane, cracked. Don't want kids crying, so get out our five second fix. Okay, take off your cap. With your pre precision point, you just want to squeeze a little bit all the way around. Okay, and you want to cover it. You don't want anyone getting hurt. Then you're going to put your jet together. You're going to turn on your UV light. You know, sometimes if you had a third hand, it would be a lot easier, but I think it's doable. Let's get our light on. Let's hold this for a second. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I messed up a little bit. I moved, so I'm just gonna hold it for another second just to give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's shut it off. And as you can see, works.
glued together. Okay, now it also says that it, I mean, I don't know about this, but it says it glues material. So I have a glove here with a rubber-based finger, and I'm going to see if it'll actually glue this without messing it up too much. Okay, let's just take our tip off again. Let's try to just follow the edge of the glove as best we can. Not, not that easy since, it's, it, since it moves. Okay, cover it up. Let's just put our glove together. Let's turn on our UV light. Let's try not to look at it for too long. And let's bond. One, two, three, four, five. Since this is kind of long and I have to move, I want to make sure it all gets the same amount of, of light. Because without this, it's not, it's not sealing. Okay, so let's just close our, our light. And I was a little bit sloppy on this. And um, I guess let's see if the glove is repaired. Well, as you can see, we do have a repaired glove. Actually, we don't. It opened up. Okay, maybe I didn't hold it on there long enough. But and maybe it just doesn't work on material. Or, or maybe rubber. Um, okay, so we're going to have to thumbs down for the material. Mm -mm. Toys. Glasses. Thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. And give us your comments. And, you, and subscribe, uh, and let us know what you'd like to see next time. This is Carol of Crazy Cat Lady Reviews, saying bye.